okay now now if they have different velocities they have different kinetic energy so different velocities imply different kinetic energies okay but the average kinetic energy still remains the same but the average kinetic energy remains the same why because this average group velocity remains the same the group velocity is the same in fact as i had told you that that ke of each molecule each molecule is equal to 3 upon 2 kbt where kb is the boltzmann's constant this is your boltzmann's constant boltzmann's constant and and t is the the temperature temperature in kelvin okay this temperature in kelvin we'll see later that k it is kb into na which is equal to r okay that is your boltzmann's constant and obviously this is the averaged out kinetic energy okay because it cannot be constant because of the variation in the velocities right fine <clears throat> now the the pressure and the energy and and whole lot of things can be derived with whatever we have studied and and if you want to go into that detail you'll have to go to the kinetic theory of gases of the physics right there you can find all those derivations done okay so objectively numerically what they are okay there there you'll you'll find out that the pressure is also equal to 1 by 3 n m v square okay this is v rms okay n is the number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume okay and and m is the m is the mass of a molecule okay v rms square okay root mean square okay so 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 these things are quite derivable and we do derive them and once you 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 uh, i also recommend you to study the the kinetic theory of the of the physics okay so so then things will become clearer because this is just a hazy subjective kind of picture that has been raised in front of us fine but perhaps the 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 role of this in the chemistry stops there because because we are not going at any point of time into the micro of what is happening but this helps you a lot while understanding your thermodynamics in thermodynamics this is a given that you will have to understand what and why these things are happening because then you will not be able to understand the whole concept of internal energy the internal energy of a <coughs> gas is the sum total of all the energy contained by the particles and since the energy contained by the uh, energy of the gas particles is primarily due to the due to the movement of the particles that is the kinetic energy so it is the kinetic energy which decides the total internal energy of the gas you understand now what happens now now this is critical this this 3 by 2 kbt this is critical so as you said whether the energy remains conserved yes it does as long as t is a constant you change t the the kinetic energy goes up 
the kinetic energy goes up means the velocity goes up if the velocity goes up they start hitting the walls of the container faster the pressure goes up correct v goes up pressure goes up get that point so it is it is related like that and you'll appreciate the whole thing better both the thermodynamics as well as the ideal gas equation the more insight you gain into the kinetic theory of gases which which is a simple topic to understand okay very simple one.